Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, Akos. Where you at? My name is Akos, and today's video is a quick edit with me. I have received a lot of questions about how I edit my videos for Instagram TV, so stick around and see exactly how I do it. Like, share, and subscribe. I am on a mission to get to 500 subscribers by Christmas time, so please make sure that you are subscribed and continue to watch this video. <laughs> I use Premiere Pro to edit all of my videos. It's just an easier way for me to edit and it allows me to be more creative. So I start off with a project that I'm already working on. I make sure to copy everything over and then I create a new sequence. The most important thing about this step is making sure to change the settings for your sequence. I click settings for sequence and I switch things around and turn it into a 1080 to 1920. So that's a 19 to 16 ratio. This helps a lot with Instagram TV because that's the perfect measurement for Instagram TV. If you want, you can Google this. It tells you the exact height and how wide and how long the clips have to be to fit on Instagram. If you don't get anything from this video, just make sure to change your settings to 1080 to 1920. After I change my sequence settings, I go ahead and I paste all of the clips that I copied over. Again, this was a project that I already finished, so it's better to start off that way. After copying it over, you do have to make sure that you now change the clips to make it fit the new frame size. As you can see in this video, I ended up changing the size to make it fit the new frame size. So I set to frame meaning I changed all of the clip sizes and I made it fit for this new frame size. There are some things that will always be a little bit off. For example, if you can see my name and the Instagram logo are a little blown out and my name is even smaller. So those are the little adjustments that you do have to make once you've copied everything over. It's pretty easy to do. If you keep watching this video, you will see that I went ahead and deleted the Instagram logo and then I moved my name and made it wider. So it becomes like a watermark on all of my videos if I post it on Instagram. If you don't already do this, make sure that you do that because sometimes your videos do get passed around and it kind of loses the source of the person that it started off with. So if your name is right there, everyone knows exactly who made the video and they can always, it always tracks back to you. Everything else is a matter of adjustments. Make sure to preview your video, adjust everything that you need to adjust to make sure that it fits your new frame size before you go ahead and uh, export. As you can see, I play around a lot with different text and different graphics. I use a lot of Google images for GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but I use a lot of Google images and I add them in to make my video just a little bit more play around with video transitions and styles that are already built into Premiere Pro. Just play around with them, see how you like them, see how you like the different transitions and the effects on your videos. Most importantly, don't forget to render everything when you're done or render as you go. It makes the playback a little easier. My laptop is pretty old and slow, so I make sure to render as I go so that I can actually view the whole clip through and make sure that I don't have any uh, errors that I need to correct.
After rendering your video, make sure to play it the whole way through. I make a lot of mistakes this way by just being tired and not playing it the whole way through and then missing something that I could have easily fixed before I exported the video. I definitely noticed a mistake. After I rendered, I went ahead and fixed that, caught that right away. And after that, I went ahead and exported my video. It does take me a very, very long time to export videos. Again, my laptop is super old. I am also using a torrented <laughs> Premiere Pro, so. I'm currently not able to export more than one video at a time, so I just leave my videos to export. So this one needs about two hours or so to export. I know it takes a long time, but I just set it to export and I just leave my laptop running while it's doing that. My ideal situation would be to queue all of my videos and they can all export at the same time so I can bring multiple videos throughout the week. But this is why I only do one video a week because that's what my laptop allows and that's what my time allows me to do. After exporting your video, you can now make sure that it is exactly what you want to preview it and go ahead and log into Instagram TV on your laptop. Go ahead and upload your clip from wherever you saved it. It is very important that you do save it where you can easily find it. So I've went ahead and set up little folders for myself that make sense for me. So if you don't already have this, creating something like this will help you a lot. It helps you to stay very organized. People always forget that you can easily change the cover image for your Instagram TV videos. So this means that the image that people first see before they even click play on your video, you can go ahead and edit that. So I use um, Canva to create the picture that I want and then I save it on my desktop and then I add it to the Instagram TV. I know it sounds like a lot of steps but if, it, if this is something that you actually do want to see comment down below and I can do a quick tutorial on how I create my little cover images on Canva. Just fill in the description and the titles that you want and then post. That is all. It is super easy. It actually took me maybe about 30 to 40 minutes or so doing this but it only took me that long because again my laptop is super duper slow very slow this is why it is very important to have everything organized in the correct folders that you want it and once you get used to this you're you kind of know exactly what you're doing and it's quick to just pull and drop things wherever you want it I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment down below and let's chat. Uh, if anything was confusing to you, I can definitely help you out in the comments down below. That's it. See you next time. I am on a mission to get to 500 subscribers by Christmas time. So please, please, please share and subscribe. Let all of your friends know to come check out my videos. I have tons of videos on this channel. So please check it out. And thank you for watching. I usually post every Tuesday by 3 p.m. if 
life doesn't get in the way. If it does, then it's just going to be extended. But if not, I usually post on time every Tuesday. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.